Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right. So let's see what's going on, Gemini. Uh, off camera, what flipped out was the devil card. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. We'll start with that. Um, <laughs> let's see what's going on here. All right. What's going on for Gemini this week? What's going on for Gemini this week? Okay. The five of wands. Okay. So a lot of petty arguing. Uh, fighting for what you want. Um, fighting without mediation. Just arguing for the heck of it. There's nobody there to kind of guide the the argument or the conversation. There's a lot of friskiness also. Um, maybe you're in sales. If you're not in sales, um, you're just uh, definitely, um, there could be some, um, some jealousy. There could be some petty gossip, maybe about a love affair. Uh, there could be more than one person involved in a love affair here. Um, you could be arguing about, yeah, other people, involvement, interference, um, drama. Okay, and maybe somebody could be acting a bit childish, some childish behavior being exuded here with the, you know, in the fifth house. Mm. Let's see. I'm like, I'm here. Like, why did she look at you like that? Or what was that? Or what? You know, someone. I don't know. It's a lot of pettiness, a lot of arguing. What's the external influence? The nine of pentacles could be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody acts single or they come off as single or they act very reliant on themselves and uh, they have singular plans and, you know, they also, there could be a lack of intimacy here. Somebody could have the door closed on intimacy and closeness. Openness is not what rests between the two of you and maybe that's when there's so much confusion and drama. Um, there's somebody who is definitely highly independent could be keeping relationships outside of their home space this talks about a woman also it could be a woman who is extremely independent doesn't want to have um, close romantic vulnerable intimate connection it doesn't serve her at this point in her life someone could be focused on their business someone has all that they need um, somebody's heart chakra could be closed. Uh, this could all be conscious or subconscious. Not even knowing that you're coming off so, or you're vibrating so with such independent, I don't need anybody energy. Um, or it could be conscious where you know that this is, this is how you're acting or this is how someone else is acting because it's external energy. What's the advice for Gemini this week? What's the advice for Gemini this week? What's the advice? Okay. The three of wands. Okay, so look forward. Um, the three of wands. Um, expansion. Okay. Um, whatever you're waiting for. If you're waiting for communication, it's going to come to you. Always keep in mind that communication is key. Make sure that your communication is effective. That is, it is um, affecting some change, some result here. Um, it's just not the five of wands arguing without mediation without an actual end um it's not petty it's not um just wanting to win okay um the three of wands says that make sure that it's expansive your communication you're doing is expansive make sure that whatever you're trying to create that you um you have that in sight okay um you have that as an end game and you make sure that you are um uh, operating in that energy okay make sure that you are edifying and building up and not tearing it down okay uh what's the outcome if gemini takes the advice of the card some of you could be waiting for something to come back to you i don't know if you did like some spy kit dna i don't know something you're waiting for a package you're waiting for something to come and a, a letter or unexpected something comes to you here um, where then you, you have to communicate about it or you communicate about it. What's the outcome here? The moon card. Uh, more confusion and more more of somebody acting very independent in nature. 
um, someone having solitary plans, singular plans for themselves. Somebody's personal philosophy is feeding only them. Um, you guys could be polar opposite. Um, somebody's somebody's energy, somebody's way of being takes you outside of your comfort zone. And it seems as if you both want the same thing, but you um, you go about it in two different ways. The outcome, if you did any moon magic, do expect for illumination to happen maybe um, around uh, maybe the next new moon, full moon, the next full moon. We just had a full moon. Um, maybe around the, uh, the next full moon. The next full moon. Do know that you could get some some downloads in your dream state here. Um, something will be illuminated to you, filled with the sun and the moon, radiating the light of the sun and the moon. Some one again, both of y'all could be polar opposite, and and that is what really um, makes it hard for this relationship to move forward. You want the same end goal, you want the same goal or well, outcome, but. You both go about it differently, okay? There's also some secrets, some lies, some manipulation, some emotional manipulation, some um, emotions that have been kept from you or you're keeping from someone else here also. Um, that is the outcome here is the moon. Lots of um, unknown here, but it looks like it will be revealed all in time, okay? So I hope that it resonates for you, Gemini. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you gemini many blessings to you